Can you imagine that? That tree would kill you for sure. Hello everybody and welcome back to another Middlesex tree video. Today we're going to be in Quaker Hill, Connecticut, removing this slob of a tree that is dangerously hanging over the corner of this customer's house. First, let's hear a word from Carl, who is the homeowner today. And Carl, we're in Quaker Hill and uh, we had this bad tree that really had to come down and these guys were here on time, as promised, and amazing job taking it down. We're over here in Quaker Hill for a uh, repeat customer. A few months back, I don't know, six months ago or something, we took down a big dead beach in the front of the house. It was dropping dead limbs all over the house, the driveway and all over everything. And they showed us this future removal they wanted to do. It's a swamp maple kind of on the edge of a river and it's leaning, it's rotted and leaning hard over the house, a lot of hazard. So we came back with a crane to uh, to get this thing out of here. Before we get too deep into this video, we want to give the guys from Able Tree a huge shout out for helping us out today. Couldn't have got it done without you guys. All right, I want to do a, a big shout out for Saybrook Rentals for hooking us up with this. It's a 12 inch chipper, which is smaller than ours. Ours is in the shop getting repaired, but it's uh, it's definitely bigger than anything else you can rent. So we have a few extra challenges with this tree. First off, the reason why we brought a crane is um, the main lead that was straight up in the air, which you would typically want to use for rigging to get the stuff over the house, uh, had been rotted out and, and fell off years ago. And uh, so there was no rigging point there. So the lead going toward the house, which is a big, it's big piece of wood, there's just no good rigging point and it's too risky to try to fell it the opposite way to bring it up, uh, away from there. Also, it's covered in bittersweet and poison ivy, with her, which are both different types of vines. So our first pick, the, the piece was coming off and they had to stop and wait and the climber had to cut the vines um, to separate it from the tree to, to further get it out of there. Let's join Chaw with the GoPro. Derek, I noticed that you guys were working on the left side of the tree here, but you're going to rig up the right side of the tree next. Why the switch? So if we get rid of that piece on the right, then for the rest of the picks, instead of booming three quarters of the way around, he can just boom a quarter of the way to lower the pieces. But when we started, it was fine picking from the left first, because first off, we wanted to make it as safe as possible for the house, so we took some weight off of it. But also there was such big pieces and so much coming so fast that we would have got backed up on the ground anyway. So it was okay that we were running a little slower like that. But getting that piece off the right side, now we can swing the rest to the right. It's only a quarter of the way. Uh, it'll be a little quicker. Dan from Able Tree has been helping Chaw tie off some of these leaders today. It's gonna smooth out the process for us and speed things up a little bit so Chaw doesn't have to continually move all around this tree. The communication between these two guys is absolutely critical on this job. One false move and you're putting a hole in this customer's roof. Check out this puppy golden retriever that Dan from Able Tree brought on the job site today. He was beautiful and we had a good time with him. Let's get back to Dan and Shaw doing some work. The more we get to the trunk of this tree, the more rot there is. Look at the chain pulled right through the side of this tree here. That is seriously rotted. Even though the day started out pretty chilly, the afternoon got pretty warm and Ben needed some air conditioning from the drone.
So this piece was that center lead that the top had previously blown out of, and that's why I didn't want to rig the leaning piece over the house. I didn't want to, I had nothing to rig it to. I didn't have the height first off, but look at that thing. And then that, that was part of that. And then this was the lead going over the house. Can you imagine that? That tree would kill you for sure. Now that the toughest part of the job is over, it's time to work on this trunk. We're gonna cut it up a little bit and use the ropes and pull it apart with the dingo. Look at the trunk of that tree. It's like kicking dust. Carl, do you breathe a sigh of relief after this is gone? Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Seeing that spotted hole there. Yeah, that's brutal. Chaw, you attack that poison ivy like a freaking great white on a whale carcass, dude. Do you not get poison ivy or what? No. Never have? Nope. Dude, you were swimming in it. Yep. I give you yeah, props. Hell yeah, man. What an incredible difference from the guys today here before and after. This was one tough job and all about communication. And this customer, as you heard, is extremely happy to have this tree away from his house.